So about five months ago, I made a video about making the Ultima M4. Using historical upgrades, I made it in Sprocket. There was one issue though. Sprocket's designer wasn't great. But in the current beta version, which is I believe 0.113, the designer has been massively improved. If you've used Blender before, it's actually pretty similar. So I decided to make another video like that, but with the Soviet T34. I think this looks a lot better than the M4, but it's still a bit rough. I don't think it's scale accurate. The important thing is that it looks right and has the right stats. Like, even though I think it's too big, it was underweight by 10 tons. So as you can see here, the bottom plate is 150 millimeters thick. That's obviously not very accurate. But I can tell you one thing, it definitely won't be dying to mines. For the transmission, I used the gear ratios from War Thunder. It's a bit too fast, about 10 kilometers per hour faster than it should be, but it takes a long time to get there. But yeah, overall, I think it looks pretty good. Now let's take it into a battle. From a distance, it looks pretty spot on. I'm surprised I hit that. What is that supposed to be? Well, I guess it's supposed to be a British tank. I think they changed the scenario since the last time I played it. I was expecting to face panthers and stuff like that. Let's try something a bit harder. There's a king tiger over there. Let's see if I can outrun its turret. That would look to be a no. I can't believe this is working. It looks like it doesn't need any improvement, but let's do it anyway. Let's start with the turret and gun. So a lot of big guns have been mounted on a T-34, but those are mostly SPGs and pillboxes. In the role of an actual tank, the biggest was 100mm, specifically the low recoil LB-100. Contrary to popular belief, the suspension didn't break when this gun fired. Let's start by making the turret wider, increase turret diameter, make this thicker, and finally fix the gun. Now for the frontal armor, there were 30mm appliques, so let's just change that. I don't think it'll be crazy effective, but you never know. And now for mobility. Now for the T-34, they never really upgraded the engine. However, the KV-1 used the same engine, but at 600 horsepower instead of 500. So we'll just increase that. And for the transmission, I just used the one from the KV-1S. Now in reverse, it's a lot faster, but going forward, it's slower. And let's try it out. Despite not weighing that much more, it feels a lot less responsive. Let's try that again. So does it change faction every time? Because I think we fought Russians in that one, but we fought Germans last time. This reload is killing me. Come on, elevate. Ugh. Let's extend the turret to give more room, and we really need to fix that elevation speed. I think I see an issue here. Okay, so what if we move the commander to the back? And you know what? We have lots of room in the hull, so let's give it the KV-220's engine. That looks like a mutant. Okay, so our reload's better, and we seem to be a lot faster. The transmission's probably the most useful thing. Oh wow, did we bounce something? What? It keeps slipping and sliding everywhere. Okay, I think we can win this one. Okay, so it's probably still worse than the original, but I'm pretty happy with that result. If you guys want more videos like this, leave a comment. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.